Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. Let's do some more galaxies, shall we? Last time things got a little sandy. I don't know if I've finished all the stuff in World 4, I've not. So we're gonna do a boss level comet first to start things off. The Gravity Gauntlet. One of my favorite levels of levels I don't like. Let's see how we're getting pranked today, ladies and gentlemen. The Gravity Star speedrun. Nothing could make the gravity run better than doing it fast. Oh boy. At least we know where the star is this time. It's on the other side of that wall. But I thought I could jump over last time, and I was wrong. So here we go! 30 seconds on the clock. We are gonna be running our little buns off. Oops. Okay. Using all of our speedrun strat knowledge. Oh boy. Oh no! Okay, that was a tactical decision. Trust me. Oop. Get him away, Kamek, on time for you. Alright. So far, so good. I think, maybe. I think I can hear the star already. That's a little bit of a tease. Nope. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. Stop it. Mario's looking a little... Toasty, a little worn out. We got plenty to do, bud. No time for this. I also gotta be careful, because I feel like I'm gonna probably wind up dying. Ooh. Whoa, I thought I was dead there, too. Oh my goodness. Oh, there. <laughs> it was coming. It was just a matter of time. All right. I'm always coming. Here we go. Back at it. Round two. These levels are not too bad, relatively speaking. You just gotta kinda be, I wanna say like patient but quick at the same time. That sounds like an oxymoron. I'm an oxymoron. Okay, here we go. Emphasis on the moron. Here we go. Thank you. Makes me think of those fortress levels from Mario 3 or Mario World. They're all great. Big fan of those. Okay. Make sure you grab all the clocks you can, or you'll feel pretty yellow. Alright. Only thing that's kind of the tough part is that you can't really see what you're doing. And it is quite the gauntlet of gravity. I tell you that. Alright, let's get in the water here. It was funny, when I first started playing this level, the original version, I had no clue that this was water. It's not super clear that that's what it is. Okay. So far, so good. I feel like every time that they give you a clock, it's like sort of when you're right around the 20 second mark. Oh, you just go right through the legs. Okay. So I think every time that you do that, getting your timer back up to around 30 seconds is basically a sign that you're in good shape. Okay. Okay. I feel like I need to be over here. Yes. Okay. So I think that the thing that we're trying to get is over this way, but I need to go the other way. I think I can run on this. Oops. That was a tactical decision. Trust me. I can hear the star, and I remember seeing it at the top of this thing. Eh? We've done it, ladies and gentlemen. First try. Incredible. Couldn't have done it without you. And all your help. Not so bad. That's a good way to start off the episode. That's a galaxy complete. I think that might be a world complete, too. Let's find out. I do believe. Is that everything? Nope. We're still missing one final prankster comet. We're going to explore two new galaxies today. We're going to do Upside Dizzy, of course. This episode's all about gravity. What keeps us from spinning out into outer space. It's a walk on the weird side. Welcome to DMI Place. A walk on the weird side. That could honestly be the perfect tagline for this channel. You want to get weird? Well, 
I got some plenty. I got plenty of weird for you. And I'm not always walking when I'm weird. Sometimes I'm running. Sometimes like when I'm feeling weird, I got the runs. Let's go ahead and talk to Luigi here. Get him involved. Yes, of course. Let's switch, bro. One of my big pet peeves, which is very mundane and kind of innocuous. I hate people that say bruh. Sorry, I don't hate people that say bruh. I hate bruh. We have bro. What happened to bro? Bro is perfectly fine. And kids these days ruined it with their bruhs. I don't feel attached to anybody anymore. I don't feel like I'm anyone's sibling. Bruh means nothing to me. The world we live in, I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's go ahead and pop into this pipe. This looks like a situation where we are gonna be destroying some stuff. There's a big old pipe right here. Okay, what is the point of this? Is this a special star, a bonus star perhaps? A pipe that leads to another pipe? What a dream, oh no. No, Guillermo. All right, hopefully this is better than the situation I had with the bombs. This is gonna be horrible. Let's start with that. It looks like that's a pretty good result. I'm definitely not going as fast as I need to be, but. Oops. Oh, it didn't give it to me. Well, at least I know how to do it. That was definitely not as bad as the bomb level. That was miserable. That took many tries. But we're doing this one live. Of course. Get that phallic set of boxes first. Very good. Go for the diagonals. Set myself up for success. It looks like if you hit the boxes right in the middle. That seems to produce a better result. Or not. This looks like worse than the last time. Yes. <laughs> That's a little tricky. Okay. We'll have to try to come up with another strategy. Yes. I would love to give it a go. Absolutely. Yeah, you gotta hit the middle of the boxes. I think that that's kind of the, the key, especially on those four packs when you're doing those ones. It's also kind of tough to do this. Probably should not have chosen Luigi. He's very slippery. This is not going well. Oh boy. I don't think we're doing it this time. Yes, that was horrible. You gotta really capitalize on those multi-packs of boxes. At least it doesn't instantly kill you when you do it this time. That was lame. Remember that in Galaxy 1? If you failed, you died. Dying is lame. All right. Whoop. Look back at it. I don't think I got the final one in that pack. Great. Yeah, this is tough to kind of know where the fireballs are going to go. But I think it's if you hit them in the kind of in the center of the boxes, that definitely produces better results. Oh, I might have almost been able to get this one. I wonder if there's a way to potentially fire the Fire my balls faster. That's kind of my problem. And Luigi being slippery is not helping me at all. Okay. So let's do this. We'll go right up the middle, right up Broadway. We'll try to throw some boxes at diagonals here. See if that helps at all. Nope. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what's the best recipe for this. I had a really good attempt my first time. I'm hoping to do this 100% on camera with the added challenge of Luigi. So that you know I'm putting in the work for you. So I did that. I did that. I did that. I did this. Oh, 
Yeah, I'm like a I'm like a couple steps too too short. Not using up my time in the most efficient way. All right, let's try this again. Okay. Yeah, it's really tough once you get to this point. Oh, come on. That's lame. I would have had it. Two boxes away? Alright, I feel like this is the one. This is the one. Let's do it. Do you believe in me? Do I believe in me? I don't know. Alright. Not really, but... There's something to be said for my diligence. Oh, I missed. That's not going to go well. You can't miss your balls. If you miss your balls, you're doomed. Yeah. Oops. Well, it might have been the one. Hope you're enjoying me doing this over and over again. This is wonderful. Okay. Ooh, this is a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it. I don't really know if there's a better way to do it. Look, like missing that was probably not ideal. Missing that was not ideal, okay. Okay, I think I got a good beat on it this time. I think I can beat it off. I feel, I feel good about it. I think I know what I need to do. I need to prioritize the double sets of boxes. I think that the... The two boxes that they have on the sides, where it's the four packs that are slightly offset, this one and the other one, that's the trap. I think that's what it is. Because you can knock out four packs of boxes. Okay, probably not this time. But you can knock out four packs of boxes really easily if you hit them right down the middle. And that's what you gotta do. You gotta knock the four packs right down the middle. And then as it's traveling through, if you do it right, which I did not, See, I'm getting closer. I'm figuring it out. I'm using my nagging. Here we go. This is growth here at D Mike Industries. We're always learning. Everything is a teachable moment. Here we go. Don't get trapped. All right. So we're feeling good. We're doing okay. Hopefully you're all doing well. So try to get it right down the middle or not. I did not do, do what I said I was going to do. Okay, so not this time, I don't think. Oh yeah, see, I'm very, very close. I'm so close to finishing. I'm right on the edge. Okay. Oh, Guillermo. Things like this, though, are super rewarding once you finally get it. Once you finally stop being a big old dum-dum. All right. It's gonna be amazing, I feel it. I'm going to try to take a different approach this time around. Slightly. Oh, missing that is brutal. Yeah, it's all about getting in the middle of the boxes. That's kind of your big thing. This has only been 10 minutes of this, I think. Let's enjoy it. Well, we had to get here first. Who knew that I was going to be punishing myself today? I'm a glutton for it. Here we go. Maybe I focus on one side and then the other. Well, that's gonna be pretty good. Probably not. <laughs> All right, I got distracted, I think. Yeah, too many loose. Ugh. I think it's lame how tight the timing is. It's very tight. All right. We'll try it again. Gotta not get distracted. All right. All right. Yeah, it's really tough to get these early ones. All 
Oh, I had one left. Oh. That's the closest I've gotten. I, I've gotten a couple two packs in there. All right, here we go. Again. We'll do it. I feel it. You're going to see it live. I don't think my execution is very good this time around. Maybe? Wait. <gasps> Wait. Did we do it? <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. First try. Incredible. I honestly thought that was going to be a fail, and it wasn't, because I'm epic. And you're epic, viewers. Okay, here we go. Woo! That only took 10 minutes. Wow, what an incredible journey. Okay, so far so good. And I think that's the, well, apparently that's not the final power up. I thought there was, but we're missing one. But we're not missing Luigi, that's for sure. Okay, two stars down, two more to go. Let's see what we've got. I was not expecting to do that kind of hidden secret star, but it is what it is. Let's see what we got. Did we get the... I did not get the Comet Medal. So we'll have to come back and do that another day. I'm trying to stick to one galaxy per video. Let's do Shiver Burn. I don't remember if this is the one that's controversial or not. It might be. Potentially. This is the Prince Picante's Peppery Mood. Do we remember Prince Picante? He was from Mario Galaxy 1. And I think that this is the... Oh yeah, there he is, big boy. Maybe it's King Caliente. It must have been his dad. So we're seeing the next generation of Picantes. Must run in the family. They're always so spicy. But yeah, this is the one galaxy that if I remember correctly, there's some like large edge far away that if you freeze frame it or if you move some, oh boy. Okay. <laughs> well done me. Great. Yeah. If you like move your camera, if you like have some way to like move the camera around, which I don't, the wonderful camera in Mario Galaxy games that you can see some hidden creature far in the distance. I don't know. I think it's shenanigans, some balderdash perhaps. Where is this taking me? I don't necessarily care for this. Okay. I feel like there's probably an ice power up or like that switch right there is probably gonna freeze the lava. I think it's got some range on it. Okay, here we go. Nope. No, no, please. Oh. Ooh. Okay. So I think I have to get over there with just the cloud power up. It's kind of a weird juxtaposition of power ups. Is it all icy now? Nice. All right. Nice. Okay. <laughs> well, that works apparently. I'll grab this coin. I don't know how long this lasts. Hopefully, it's permanent. Grab the life and the life shroom. This is a level with a boss, so it probably wouldn't hurt, because as epic as we are, sometimes it doesn't hurt to have reinforcements and to take care of yourself, viewers. If things are a little bit too dicey in your world, don't be afraid to slow things down and make it easier on yourself. But first, there's a pipe here. <gasps> what could this be? Ooh, oh, oh, okay, oh, no, stop, please. Okay, okay. Ooh. Oh, it's another chimp minigame. Hmm. No, not, not now. Not, not. I need to find the Comet Medal. We'll come back for you, Mr. Monkey. All right, hopefully it's somewhere amongst this crazy rotation of platforms. I don't know. Ooh, excuse you. Yeah, it's gotta be on one of these, right? You'd think. 
Something I don't do as often as I need to? Okay. Here we go. Alright. I don't see it. So we will continue moving around. I know that it's somewhere amongst these. That would make sense. Hiding away. Oop. Excuse you. Oop. Okay. Oh, oh, no, no. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, what have we done? Okay. It was, it was tactical. Go ahead. We'll go ahead and recover our health right away. As intended. It was completely intentional. How do I get this open? Can I, oh, there's the common metal in the distance. I see it. There's a life in there. That's kind of cool. It's like playing a little bit of football. Speaking of, I recently tried the demo of the new Mario Strikers game. It looks pretty darn heckin' cool. I wonder if they're gonna release it around the time of the World Cup. We'll find out, but that's the Comet Metal Get. I think we're inching closer to the final battleground with royalty, with Prince Picante. My Wii apparently does not enjoy the rapid changes in temperature. No. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, it gives you a free life stream here. I forgot that I also had collected it in the first place. Oh, it's... Oh, wait, I did get it. No! <laughs> oh, this is not going well. This is, uh... Whew, there's a lot going on right now. A little bit too much chaos. What can we do to slow this down? Not a fan of what's happening right now. Oh boy. This is pure chaos. Alright, one more. Fire their watermelons back at them. Somehow creating a platform. I don't know. I'm not gonna complain. And the random ice shards hailing from the ceiling. Oh no. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> what a lame way to die. I got frozen by... Okay. At least the power shroom is still there. Yeah, you gotta take your time with this. I thought I was gonna be able to just kind of brute force it a little bit. I was wrong. And I think that I don't have the cloud suit, so I think I'll die if I touch that. That looks like a trap. Nice try, game, but not today. All right. Oof. Okay. I believe the lesson learned here is to take out the Octumbas first. Take your time. Reduce the variables. I don't know if I can get to these. No, 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 Mario. <laughs> this episode is going exceptionally well. So many star bits. Look at this. Look at this. That's what I just said. Look at this. That's one of the things that we pride ourselves on here at D Mike Industries is always trying to find the positive when life is not going your way. Okay, we'll try this again. Excuse you. I will end your life and steal your lunch money. All right. All right, let's just try that. That's one of the things that's kind of tough here is like you have to realize that when you're doing this, that it's like you're ice skating, kind of. So if you if you move the wrong way, it will kill you, as you've seen. So let's be a little bit more patient this time around. Grab our star bits. 162. 67. I can't do math, apparently. We're going to skip that life, because it was a trap last time. Oh, boy. All right. Sacrifice that. Tactical move. All right, so we're, we've got five. What do you have to say to me, Mr. Shivery Toad? Oh, and my Wiimote's getting dangerously low on power. Oh, no. I just put new batteries in this thing. What are you saying? Get out of here, Wiimote. At least let me finish the episode. Jeez. All right, here we go. Prince Picante. I think he has a similar attack pattern to uh, the other the other doodads. All right. Fire his watermelon at us. Just gotta stay out of his way. Skate around. We're a skater boy. See you later, boy. Alright. It's a deep cut. Alright, here we go. Where's the green one? I saw it. Now where is it? Oh, it's way over there. 
That does not help me at all. Oh! Woo! He is on thin ice right now, Buster. Shoot a green one at me. There it is. Oh, I missed it. Awesome. Not on a time limit right now or anything. Okay, there we go. Not missing that one. Hopefully it's the rule of thirds here. Whew. He is quite picante. Spicy boy. I'm not sure how you tell where the green one's supposed to go. Just gotta skate to it. Alright. Is that it? Did we do it? Did we, did we moiter him? Oh, he looks so sad. Like, oh no, I'm exploding. I'm so sad because I'm exploding. And you're dead. Got him. Oop. Okay. Mario, please. <laughs> Now's not the time. Ice dancing is done in your free time. Alright, hopefully we can finish this before my Wiimote dies. Pretty sure I just put new batteries in this, but these batteries could be old. I don't know. All right. And we got one more star to do. Great. What are you about to tell me? Male Toad, now is not the time. It just forced me to do this. To my lost Luma, many high hearted people out there watching over you. Hope the attached mail is helpful. Star, shine, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Great. Can you wait until I'm not having my electricity and my Wiimote fail? My Wii is about to fail. Okay. Uh, I feel like we've done all, at least one star in all of these. Uh, did we do this one? Yeah, that's the flute glide one. All right, we'll do another slip sand one while we're here. Hopefully this isn't super long, but it's probably going to be like the longest star in the game. Okay. Sailing the sea. Oh no. What have I gotten myself into, viewers? I'm sorry. I think this. Yep. We're about to get native. Here we go. Makes me think of the. The Nazca Lines. I believe that's in Peru, maybe? Somewhere in South America. Those huge. Artistic depictions of. Um. Okay. Also help if I could do this the right way. There's the right way and there's the D-Mike way. Okay, here we go, get up there. Great. Do I need to go in this? I feel like I do. All right. Some gravity spheres that are currently rotating. I think, are we causing that to happen? Where do we need to go with this? What is, what is happening? Okay. What? What are we trying to do here? Okay, great. So there's, a, there's an orange pipe, and orange pipes usually signal a bonus star of some sort. How do we get you to go? Okay. I'd like you to rotate the other way. The other, other way. Okay. Can I get you to do that for me? How do I do this? What is happening? I do not know what I'm doing. But I want this to be turned down, I think. Turned down for what? Hmm. Okay, maybe we come back. Oh, that just takes me over here. Oh, I see. It's a puzzle. So if I do this... No, I don't quite understand what is happening right now. I need to get to the orange. To the orange? Oh no. We are running against the clock here. I don't want to do, have to do a cutaway for battery maintenance. He just changed the batteries. Okay. Um... I don't know. Maybe I put them there and then I use the pie. Because they have to be going this way for this to work. I see that. OK. 
Can this one go all the way around? No. Wait. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing right now. What is happening? Okay, I guess... Apparently that works. You just gotta kind of brute force it. If you can't figure things out in life, just brute force it. Alright, I feel like I'm... I, I was already here, though. Is this where I'm supposed to be? Oh. There's the launch star. Alright. We gotta hurry. The end is nigh. Danger, no fall. Okay, here we go. I remember this. Yeah, this is the platform that makes me think of like the Nazca lines. With like this kind of desert theme and these cacti being the things that will erode as time goes on. I think we already got the Comet Medal, hopefully. Also, apparently k mac can wreak havoc. <laughs> I like how we just kind of casually bump into it like, oh, excuse me. Pardon me. Yeah, it can knock away your platform too, so. Dispatching k -Mac. Or the Magikoopas. I don't know if this is k -Mac. Like, k -Mac is a Magikoopa. I think getting rid of them is obviously pretty beneficial to your cause. Oh boy. This is pure chaos. Alright. I would like you to go away. I wonder if having a buddy here would be useful. Oh, things are speeding up. Oh boy. What is happening? Yikes. Hang in there, Mario. Don't sweat it, bud. Try to take advantage of that dry heat. This is insane! No, come back! <laughs> Ooh, oh boy. We need a lot of star bits in this one, though. Oh, and there's a bow wow, oh boy. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. That's too bad. And you probably have to start this from the beginning, don't we? <sighs> okay. You'll know that if I uh, lose functionality that my Wiimote died, and there will be a cut in that moment. So, prepare yourself for that. Hopefully not. I at least want to finish the episode clean. You're going to save yourself. Well, maybe if you didn't waste so much time trying to light those boxes on fire, you would be fine. And you're right. I was just having too much of a good time. I can't help it. Right. Get out of here. I'll try to take these these bing bongs out of here while I'm at it. Oop, nope. I don't know if there's a good way to like kind of kite them around. Oh, I'm done. No, this is dumb. Ooh. I need them to spawn first. That was part of my problem. All right. Let's go ahead and enter warp speed. Back at it. Thanks. So at least get back to the Bow Wow spot. It seems pretty manageable up until then. You just gotta... Hopefully the things will reform for you. That's my problem, is it didn't form fast enough. Alright. So maybe we can kind of juke the Bow Wow at the last second. I think it's gonna keep coming at us. It is not done coming. Okay. Oh boy. Alright. Go ahead and... Uh... It's like sticking in the middle. Can we... Can we make a run for it? Yes. Oh man, I was tired. Wouldn't that have been something? Okay. Episode was a little longer than I intended, but that's what happens when you play mini games and almost have your Wiimote die. Okay. So far, so good viewers. That is the final star for the day. A ton of star bits in this episode. And a prankster comet for Shiver Burn that we might do next time. Ooh, a hidden star too, look at that. Okay. Well, that's something that we'll worry about another time. Lubba, I got it, okay. Anyway, okay game, thank you. So, thanks for watching everybody. I've been Dean Mike, this has been Super Mario Galaxy 2. I'm gonna go change my batteries on my Wiimote, and I'll see you next time. Bye.